Hello guys, welcome to IIT Starters. Today it is a very interesting project that we have built. This is the IoT door security alarm. And uh, earlier we have built this project using Blink app, but later on there are many things which has changed in Blink. So I thought uh, let us go ahead and build a project using a custom Android app using uh, MIT app inventor. And that's how we created this app over here. So let's see how it works. As you can see, if I remove uh, this piece of magnet from the sensor, the door status changes to open over here. And if I bring it close, it shows as close. Now the alarm mode is deactivated as you can see mentioned here. We are going to activate the alarm and see what happens. So we have activated the alarm as you can see the alarm is activated. The red LED is glowing now. Now if the door is open, so once the door is open, you will hear the beep of the buzzer over here and along with that you will receive an immediate notification on your smartphone. As you can see, it is telling security breach, someone opened the door. So this is a very simple project but very effective project. Uh, we can deactivate the alarm by pressing this and it will get deactivated as you can see. This is a very simple project which you can build. I will be sharing all the details with you. So stay tuned in this video and watch the video till the end so that you can build this project from your end and you can test it. So let's see how to build this project. Let's look at the Arduino code which we have to upload in ESP8266. So first we are uh, first we are including the headers over here for Firebase and ESP8266 Wi-Fi connectivity. Then we have the Firebase host. This is nothing but the URL of uh, the DB that you will be uh, getting. But this has to be put without HTTPS forward slashes uh, from the beginning and at the end. You do not include this uh, uh, forward slashes then uh, the firebase authentication is nothing but the uh, firebase uh, uh, real-time database secret key you have to paste in over here inside this inverted commas then we have the Wi-Fi SSD uh, your SSD um, SSID name the Wi-Fi then you have to put the Wi-Fi SSID name over here and the Wi-Fi password so that the ESP8266 can connect with the internet and through which it can send the data to Firebase real-time database. So then we are uh, declaring the Firebase uh, data objects through which we will uh, be communicating with the Firebase DB and here we are declaring the pin numbers of the sensor, buzzer and the two LEDs over here 
and then we in the setup we are declaring whether the device or the sensors which we are connecting they will be acting as an input or output over here and then it will try to connect with the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi code is over here along with Wi-Fi we have the Firebase connectivity code as well then the loop comes this loop part is very interesting and it is uh, very important as well so what it is doing is uh, from the firebase uh, it is trying to get the string data for the alarm basically so when we are pressing uh, the alarm activated then it will try to read over here what is the status of the alarm and based on that it will uh, go ahead and uh, make the changes in the led as you have seen at the beginning so here it is reading the data that's the reason it is get string and it is reading the data from the door sensor bucket and the uh, under alarm data the value is stored so this is how it is reading the data for the alarm status so now we are using some conditions over here based on the conditions uh, the firebase will be sending the data the sensor data which will be stored under in the door sensor bucket under door status basically it will be stored and it will ask uh, uh, the esp8266 to do all this stuff so what is mentioned here so there are four conditions under which it is working if you have a very basic understanding of Arduino code you can very easily understand this it is nothing very complicated it's very easy so now we are going to create a firebase uh, real-time database we'll click on add project we are going to provide a name for our project I'll put a test and continue I'll just put this off it is not required for Google Analytics so we'll create this project and it is creating the project for me right now so right now my project is ready we'll click on continue to proceed further and here we have our project so in our project we are going to build uh, we are going to choose a real-time database so we'll go to build expand it and then we have real-time database we'll click on it and then we'll click on create database and we'll keep the default database location as us whatever it shows uh, for you so we'll go the uh, click on continue and right now it is showing us start in locked mode and start in test mode so we'll keep it as a start in locked mode and we'll click on enable later on we'll change the security rules so right now it is creating uh, the real-time DB for us so this is the DB URL which is created which we need to put in our Arduino code and now we'll go to rules and we'll change the rule here from false to true for both read and write and we'll click on publish to make these changes so now it is all set for us and we'll go back to the data again we'll go to project overview over here and we'll click on project settings now we'll go to service account and we'll click on this database secrets Now this is the secret key we'll click on show and we'll copy this secret key and we need to put the secret key as well as in a firebase authentication token in Arduino code. So you copy and paste it somewhere and keep it safe so that we can put that into Arduino code. So this is how we prepare uh, the real time database in firebase. So now let's look at the MIT App Inventor where we have developed this, uh, we have built this Android app over here. What are the blocks? Uh, additionally, what we have used over here is a Firebase DB, which you can get it from this uh, um, experimental palette. 
and uh, we have added one extension for sending the notification and i have shared the details in the description you can get this notification extension from there you can download along with that we are using a notifier uh, to notify so let's quickly check the blocks over here i'll be sharing the aia file with you guys if you want you can uh, download that file open it using mit app inventor and then you can modify if you want or you can understand how this entire uh, in the back end the app is working so the app is very simple how it is working um, we have a perception that uh, apps are very difficult to build but using MIP, MIT app inventor or you can go with the Codular as well uh, to build the apps. So here I've chosen MIT app inventor. First of all, uh, we are looking into the Firebase DP whether uh, we are getting the values for these two tags that is door status and alarm data. So we are trying to get this data whenever there is a change in data it will get it. After getting this value we are we are checking it whether the Firebase has got value or not. If the Firebase has got values then it will first of all there is an if statement that the tag if it is equal to door status it will get the value of the door status tag from here it will get the value and it will try to compare if the value is one then the door status dot txt will set to open like whenever we are opening this uh, door the changes the door status is changing to open so this is where this logic is working and this is how it is changing similarly for get value if it is equal to zero for the door status value if it is zero then door status text will change to close so this is how we come to know okay the door is open or the door status uh, or the door is closed similarly the alarm data if we get the alarm data over here the value is 1 then it will store as or it will show the current current alarm status is alarm is activated and if the value is 0 for the alarm data tag then it will uh, display uh, the current alarm status is alarm as uh, alarm deactivated then we have the final uh, if condition that if both uh, door state uh, door status is open and the alarm state and the alarm is activated then in that case it will send a notification security beach somebody open the door that you are getting as you have seen in the uh, beginning of the video and here we are initializing the notifier which will be showing the alert while starting the app itself it will be ready to show the alerts to you and at the bottom we have two blocks over here which one for alarm on when the alarm one will be uh, pressed basically the alarm data will store the value over here as one so we are using this firebase uh, db um, block to store the value over here as you can see it is mentioned as store value and the tag where it will store the value is alarm data and the value will be one similarly when the alarm off um, button is pressed then it will store the value in the alarm data and the value will be zero so this is all about the back end of the app for this iot door sensor